All rise for our Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, students, faculty, and staff. Welcome to the WDCS announcements for Thursday, October 26, 2023. Today is an odd day. The word of the day is extremist. It means unnecessary or unimportant. The woman who reported the robbery kept mentioning extremist facts like what she had for lunch and how old her dog was. There will be a pep rally during the seventh period today for high school students. The Key Club will meet today in room 1220. There's no school for students tomorrow. Monday night will be our open house. Students, please make sure to write down your schedules on paper with the teacher name and room number and give it to your parents before they come. From 5 to 6 p.m. there will be uniform sales and of sports and clubs fair. Parents will meet in the cafeteria at 6 p.m. Because of limited space, we act that only parents come to open house. Congratulations to the cross country team. At their last event, two girls and six boys finished in the top ten. Both girls and both boys teams qualified for districts. All six girls have qualified to complete district and ten of the boys have qualified. On Halloween day, we will have our annual DCS spooktacular dress down day. Students can wear jeans with a DCS t-shirt or a Halloween t-shirt, or you can wear a costume. If you choose to wear a costume, these rules must be followed. Costume masks may only be worn during a costume contest at lunch, not during class time. No toy weapons or accessories similar to weapons or that are deemed dangerous. No violent or bloody images. No flip-flops, crocs, or slippers. Shoes must follow the dress code. ID lanyards must be worn. Students must arrive at school in costume. No excessive face paint or makeup, and makeup must be applied at home, not at school. A costume contest will be held at each lunch, and the winners will receive a goodie bag for the school spirit merchandise and candy. It's time for our October Students of the Month. to a beach in a one-piece bathing suit that had been designed for women. She was arrested for indecency because according to the law, she had not dressed in a modest way. Back then, this is what women's bathing suits looked like. And here's what she wore that day. A few years later, suits like this became more accepted, but many beaches literally had men hired as swimsuit police, whose job was to measure the women's suits to make sure that they were long enough. Last week, two-year-old Sarah Grice wandered out of her South California house without anybody noticing. When her parents realized she was missing, they called 911. By 6 p.m., Sarah still hadn't been found. Shortly after, a phone call came in from a man who had been out in the woods hunting deer. He'd heard a child crying and followed the sound to find little Sarah sitting on the ground in the woods. The police were able to track the man's phone and quickly got Sarah back home to her parents. Aside from being hungry, thirsty, and a little scared, she was otherwise unharmed. We'd like to wish a happy birthday to Shedley St. Bard, and we'd like to wish a happy birthday to those who are celebrating over the weekend, Emily Piloto, Julio Gutierrez, and Fernando Reyna. Thank you for tuning in, Hawks. Have an epic day, and we'll see you tomorrow. And that's a wrap.